Stop, this is not garbage. Christmas might be over, but I'm gonna show you guys a super easy way to reuse your Christmas wreaths for the rest of the winter season. First, we need to get rid of all the red on the wreath. We're done with the green and red combination, so just get rid of it. Luckily, I only have one red bow to get rid of, and also, we're gonna get rid of these acorns as well. We're done with them. Make sure you have some wire cutters handy for this project because we're gonna be using fake flowers and these are really hard to cut off with regular scissors. This project is so cost efficient because I'm using things that I had laying around my house like these white twigs and white pearls. But before I get into showing you how to build this thing, I need to show you how to make this super easy bow. You guys need to stop buying bows at the store. They are such a waste of money. So all you're going to do is wrap the bow around itself a few times, squish it into the middle, leave two tails out, and then we're actually going to use the wire from our red bow. So we're reusing the wire. You're going to wrap it around the center, fan out each side of the bow, and look at how pretty that comes out. Just to make the tails even prettier, we're going to fold it over in the middle and cut up on a diagonal and look at how cute this comes out. Then you're going to take that wire again from your last bow, wrap it right around the wreath. Now I love this project because all you have to do is just stick everything in. No hot glue is required. You don't need any extra wire. All you do is stick it right in to the already made wreath. It's so easy. If you guys are loving this craft, make sure you leave a comment below and I will respond to each and every one of you. Let me know what you would do differently with this project or what you would put into your wreath. I can't wait to show you guys the final product and how this came out, but look at how beautiful this is already looking. I would hang it up just like this, but we do need to add a pop of color. And I say color loosely because I went with silver. You could do a blue or yellow or anything, any kind of color you'd like but stay away from red because that will look Christmassy. I went with silver and I added some leaves and I added some beautiful flowers, all different sizes, and I really love how it came out. This project literally cost me zero dollars. I had everything I already needed in my craft closet, but here's a really good tip. Since you guys made it to the end of the video, I'm gonna share it with you. If you don't have the things that you need for this project, go to the craft store now. Go to the Christmas section and there's some amazing sales going on. Now don't forget to hit that like button and comment below with any tips, tricks, or ideas for me that I should make in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the rest of your holiday season.